Dear children, today we will learn about syllables. As you already know, the English speech sounds have been divided into vowel and consonant sounds. Vowel sounds are A, E, I, O, U and also Y sound at times. Whereas consonant sounds are B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. You also know that there must be at least one vowel sound in each word. Let's look at some words with a single vowel sound. Example, cat, egg, kit, dog, hut, cry. And now, let's look at some words with double vowel sounds. Example, basket, writing, doctor, Sunday. A syllable is a sound part of a word that consists of a vowel. The word computer has three sound parts with a vowel in each. Come, pew, t. The word monkey has two sound parts with a vowel in each. Mon, key. And the words dog, cat, ant have only one vowel sound. Now let's learn to count these sound parts, that is, syllables. Listen to a word and read it out loud. Identify the sound parts and clap after you hear each one. The number of claps is equal to the number of syllables. Let's understand this better with some examples. Alligator. Identify the sound parts and clap after you hear each of them. A, le, gay, t. Four claps. That is, it has four syllables. Let's try out some more examples. A, e, t. Three claps. That is, three syllables. Do, t. Two claps. That is two syllables. Ant, one clap. That is one syllable. Let's try out another method. Count the number of syllables in a word. Let's take the word communication as an example. Keep your fist under the chin and read out the word. Communication. Let's do it again and now count the number of times the chin touches the fist when pronouncing this word. Communication. We observe that there are five syllables in the word communication. Here are a few more examples. Rainbow. Rainbow. Sacrament. Sacrament. Testify. Testify. True. True. Victim. Victim. Watershed. Watershed. Each word breaks into smaller sound parts called syllables. Syllables are the basic units of language. They are the least divisible sound part of a word. In a word, the minimum number of syllables is one, whereas there is no maximum limit to it. It depends on the length of the word. The longest word in English is new, mo, no, al, tra, my, cro, sco, pic, se, le, co, vol, can, no, co, mio, sis. Pneumono ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis, which has 
The word has more than four syllables and hence it is called a polysyllabic word. Words that have only one syllable are called monosyllabic words. Look at these words. Plant, coat, are, please. All these words have only one syllable and cannot be split further. Therefore, they are known as monosyllabic words. Words that have two syllables in them are known as disyllabic words. Let's split up the given words into syllables. Sunday, sun, gay, doctor, doctor, carpet, carpet. The word Sunday can be split into two parts, sun and day. So it has two syllables. And hence it is a disyllabic word. Similarly, the words doctor and carpet can be split into two parts each. Doctor, doc and tur, carpet, car and pet. Both these words have two syllables each and hence are disyllabic words. Words that have three syllables in them are called trisyllabic words. Split up the given words into syllables. Electric. E-lec-trick. E-lec-trick. Remember. Re-mem-ber. Potatoes. P-tay-toes. The word electric can be split into three parts. That is, e-lec-trick. So, it has three syllables and is therefore a trisyllabic word. Similarly, remember can be split into three parts. Re, mem, ba. So, it has three syllables and is therefore a trisyllabic word. Words that have four or more number of syllables in them are called polysyllabic words. Let's split them. Let's split the given words into syllables. Unfortunate, unfortunate, supervisor, supervisor, encouragement, encouragement, dangerously, dangerously. The word unfortunate can be split into four parts. Unfortunate. So, it has four syllables and hence it is known as a polysyllabic word. Similarly, each of the words supervisor, supervisor, vocabulary, vocabulary and responsibility, responsibility can be broken into four, five and six parts or syllables as shown. Hence, all these words are polysyllabic.